we're, we're exploring uh, something in XGuy. And this is under uh, settings. Let's see, I might have to close this to get to show how we got there. Okay, under XGuy menu, it has these settings. And he's doing some, we're doing some really cool stuff in here. Jeff's just making this better and better. Now I have to explore what some of these are, uh, but you can mouse over these question marks and get sort of a, an explanation on some of these things. Wayne Hod Hodson, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Is here with me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're just learning this right now, but it's pretty exciting. And based on my use and training X guy so far, even though this is brand new, I think I understand what some of these things will do, and I'm getting pretty excited. Um, I'm trying to think, why would you not want to synchronize XGuy contact list with your Skype? And um, you're going to leave that's defaulted to check. That makes sense. Any time you add contacts or send messages or move contacts into categories, um, you would want that to be reflected in your, in your Skype, synchronized with your Skype. But why would you want to uncheck it? And the first thing that pops to my mind is, say you send a whole bunch of people um, friend requests, a whole bunch of Skype users that are not your contacts yet. You're sending a friend request. And you may not want that to synchronize. You can do it inside of XGuy, and you may want it to not synchronize with Skype so that they're not actually added to Skype yet. Um, I, I'm guessing on that, so I'm going to move on. And, and I can understand why that would be valuable because you only want to add the people that are responding and that you have a reason to connect with. So, um, okay, now how about this next one? This one I'm so excited about. You can choose to enable the XGuy Ignore Me command, which allows um, your contacts to opt out of receiving broadcasts from you. It automatically allows them to put themselves in your ignore list or do not send uh, broadcast list. So how would they know to do that, Julie? Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, a lot of XGuy people are going to be broadcasting to you and you to them, so they're going to know it. And then the other thing that you can do is you can actually use, put this information um, in the footer. Like, um, let me choose, uh, I'm going to show you broadcast so you can see the footer. Ah, I'm going to have to bring that up again to do this. Okay, let's say my YouTube video Skype room people. Um, okay, right here, <coughs> this little white envelope is, says send broadcast. You can choose to keep a footer, and it will always keep the footer there. And one of the things that you could put in your footer is, uh, I'm going to load a saved message, and I actually use the fact that you can save messages um, and load your messages, which I think is very, very useful. Um, I actually save one for footers. Let's see what this footer is. I'm going to load that one, just to give you an example. Well, that one's not very good. Okay, let's start up. Let's say I'm going to create a new footer, and it, it would be Julie Wolf Skype Coach, and maybe I put a www whatever. Um, X guy for Skype or whatever you know, you want to put in your footer, and you could say in here, uh, you could you could put a PS <laughs> if you no longer want to receive broadcasts from me, and you can even let them know. Maybe they think it's a cool feature. And they're going to say, what's, 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 uh, what's X guy? And there you go. You might want to get a referral that way if, if they want it, right? <laughs> okay, so receive X guy broadcast from me. Um, just, uh, just enter dash X guy ignore me and you will instantly be in my uh, ignore list. And some people go, I don't want you to ignore me. And then you start talking to them. It's really cool. Okay. And then, uh, I mean, I could call it do not send list and I'll say no hard feelings. Let's put a first name tag in there and it'll use their actual first name. 
I love that yellow banner that warns you the terms of service. Please think about what you're sending. Uh, both Skype and XSkype terms of service. And then you can put a little smiley face or whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually save that as a footer. This is not how it was designed to be used, but what should we call that? Ignore me. How about ignore me footer? Thanks. <laughs> Ignore me footer. Okay. So there we go. And of course, if you like that one, if that's the one that you're going to use most of the time, there you go. It will save it and get this. So that's now my permanent um, footer. And I can either use it or not use it. That's the not use it. Here's the use it. So you can actually give people instructions, and that will turn into their first name, which is amazing. It's very, very cool. Um, oh, that's very good. Yeah. In fact, let's see. Let's Just see. Like auto responders. Right. Let me um, uncheck all and search for you, and I'll show you. Hodges. First name is Wayne. No, gee. Okay. Okay, sometimes you got to back up and, and hit the backspace. Okay, I have to back up. This is how to find one person. So I'm going to expand my all contacts, and there you show up. Boom. If I were to get rid of you, you'd see all my contacts when I expand all contacts. So I'm going to check you, and I'm going to broadcast that message to you. Happy Easter, Wayne. And uh, normally with a short message like that, you would not use the footer. But for the um, demonstration, I'm going to send the footer so you can see how that first name tag and what that would look like. Make sure I've typed this, this correctly. Maybe I'll even put some spaces there. So there. So here we go. I'll broadcast the message. Ta-da! Now let's see if it went to you real quick. There it is. Happy Easter. Wayne, you use your first name. Julie Wolf, Skype coach, X Skype for Skype. P.S. If you no long, if you no longer want, it's good to have a test group, by the way. And I have a new <laughs> test group. <laughs> I should. <laughs> yeah, we actually have a community uh, room, an X Skype test group room that is volunteered to be in your test group if you want to join it. <laughs> So, if you no longer want to receive XSky broadcasts from me, just enter XSky Ignore Me, and you will instantly be in my ignore list. No hard feelings, Wayne. Okay, so go ahead and enter it, and let's see what happens. Dash XSky space ignore space me space. Now, uh, or dash. Can you put the uh, thing after me? Yeah, put the dashes on either side. And you, yeah, everything inside the dashes, including the dashes. Now, that should pop up in the lower right corner. I didn't see the pop-up, so uh, did I enable it? Let's make sure I enabled it. Maybe I didn't. Phooey. So we're going to settings. Oops! You gotta enable it. <laughs> you want to go ahead and, and type it in again? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> now we should get a little pop-up in the lower right screen when he's entered that. Well, that's, that's good for people to see. Mm -hmm. Not seen a pop up. And the first time you had two dashes, but this time you did it correctly. Let me see if you're in the ignore list. There should be a pop up. But let's find out if you're in the ignore list now. Ta da! <laughs> oh, there it is. It was, see that? Added Wayne Hudson to the broadcast ignore list. Isn't that cool? Yes, very good. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's get you out of there. We'll be wondering. Right. <laughs> so notice you. I can only check you once. I'm going to go to checked users and remove you uh, from the ignore list. Ta-da! Now, what we want to do is look at um, how to make sure that your Skype doesn't slow down too much when you're using XSky. And so this is the stabilization. Optimize XSky for either speed or sta stability. 
So if you want it to be more stable, you move to the right. If you want it to go faster, you move to the left. So you find out based on your computer, your internet connection, your Skype history, <laughs> um, you know, what all the thi all these are all things that will affect um, how XSky affects your Skype and if it slows it down any. So if you need more stability, you move this way. If you want it to go faster, I'm going to leave it in the middle and try that. Because it really is just trial and error based on your own system. Right, but this wasn't here before, so this is very cool that he's that he's done that. Okay. Oh, very good. He just keeps adding more and more stuff. It's just amazing. I wonder what auto reply does. Whenever someone sends you a message when you your status is set to away. XSky will send the message you specify below. Requires XSky to be running. Oh my God! So as long as you have your XSky running, you, you can have an automatic message. Ah, oh, brilliant! I am out of the office. Yeah, or come and visit my website here, or check out my profile. I'm going to put. I am away now. Pr promise to get back to you. Get back to you. ASAP, please leave me a message with your thoughts, maybe, and perhaps, perhaps you made what you seek from my profile. Catch this Skype tip. <laughs> <laughs> Skype, you could put a link to your Skype profile, so again, have your profile use attraction marketing methods. Oh, this is awesome. So they can actually click on that and have access to whatever you put in your Skype profile as a response. Can you use first name? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I am away now. Promise to get back. How about I check my spelling? To you as soon as possible, please leave me a message with your thoughts. Perhaps, perhaps you may find what you seek from my profile. And we could add in there all, all this website. Right, or you can leave a website, right. Like like a good uh, voicemail message, right. I, I care about you, I want to hear from you, so please leave me a message with your thoughts. <laughs> oh, it would be so cool if I could put an emoticon there. I wonder if that would work. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hit OK. So that's our, that concludes our ex, our exploration of these settings which is probably probably going to change and get better and ah oh, so many amazing things but you have to enable that too don't forget yes this oh look at that thank no, the auto reply yeah i have to enable the auto reply ooh good catch i love it so if you're away or offline or i don't know if it did it say it worked with do not disturb let's see what it said it worked with settings Okay, whenever someone sends you a message when your status is set to away, so just away. So I want to set my status to away as much as possible. <laughs> X, X guy will send the message you specify below and requires your X guy to be running and logged in. Wow, that's very cool. Enabled, I've enabled my X guy ignore me command. Excited to get started? Oh, that's very good, Julie. <laughs> So, I like that he's added new features all the time too. Yeah, that's very cool. So um, yeah, I'm just expanding and, and contracting my my uh, all contacts. You can see now that after I've removed the search term Wayne Hudson, <laughs> um, all of them show up as opposed to just Wayne showing up. Wayne, I'm sure I have a few of them. There's a few Waynes. Oh, including a Dwayne. <laughs> so that's the search feature, too. Anyways, thanks for letting me uh, do this recording with uh, with you on the line there, Wayne. Oh, that's, that's fine. Thanks for taking us through those tips. Excellent. And by the way, Wayne is an excellent person to have help you uh, with your Skype marketing and your Internet marketing. I highly recommend.